science has shown us beyond doubt that continued unabated anthropogenic pollution and uh, green gas emissions will further increase global warming, ocean acidification, as well as changing climate patterns due to raising sea levels, stronger hurricanes, longer dry seasons, and shorter wet seasons. Uh, greenhouse gas emissions and pollutions are increasing, largely driven by economic and population growth. COVID-19, which is one of the worst crises in our lifetime, has certainly presented humanity an opportunity for reflection. COVID-19 may be equated to a mild heart attack, which is a sign that one should change their lifestyle to a healthier one. Despite the fact that uh, greenhouse uh, gas emissions in Africa are low compared to the rest of the world, the consequences are felt by the most vulnerable groups in Africa. Farmers in Africa place their reliance on a predictable climate pattern. If the patterns are disrupted, the livelihoods of farmers are put into jeopardy. The levels of the usage and disposal of PPEs during the pandemic is significantly high. Governments should take the lead and devise means of proper disposal of PPEs. The lack of enforcement is closely related to bad governance, rampant co corruption, and disregard for the rule of law. Poor habits also do contribute to pollution and unsafe environment in Africa. Small individual acts of ensuring that our environment is clean will make a huge difference. Protection of environment starts with you and me. There has certainly been a massive decrease in transnational crimes. Unfortunately, this decrease is not guaranteed beyond COVID-19. It was an unintended consequence of shutting down borders and airspaces. My only hope is that the level at which states have put measures to protect themselves from COVID, from terrorist-related acts, should be emulated in curbing transnational crimes of illegal trade of wildlife. We need to shift from lifestyles which endanger the environment to those which promote a healthy and safe environment. If the rules are enforced strictly, we can begin to see a change in our behavior of human beings with regards to environment. My hope is that everyone in their own capacity and collectively should jealously safeguard the rule of law. The rule of law can be compared to an infrastructure project. This applies to the ways in which the laws are conceived and drafted, their comprehensibility, their practical effects, as well as their adequacy to meet the purposes for which they are framed. And I do hope that in Africa, all of us will jealously safeguard the rule of law.